some juicy mats that we absolutely need to use in the game but do we gain like any kind of closeness that's one pro tip for you guys look at my storage as much as i say that i don't play with a lot of mods well we can have like a specific date oh and i'm stinky and i don't have the ui cheese because we want to have that beauty sleep like what's your favorite way of making simoleons it is update time you guys and you all know what that implies for those of you whose game is still wrapping up i would suggest to like seriously turn on and off the wi-fi connection or the ethernet connection if you have ethernet just go into control panel and network and internet view network change adapter settings and then you know just select your ethernet to disable and then re-enable it just close and reopen the ea app and finalize that update i know that some of you do deal with updates wrapping up or, or updates not finishing so that's one pro tip for you guys first things first we're gonna allow mods and cc into our game because we are gonna test some juicy mods so i just went to the curse forge website i like it so much because you can basically access it and there are a bunch of other games that you can get cc for today we're strictly interested in the sims 4 so i like that it features like both cc as well as mods cc stands for custom content so anything that is like clothing you know makeup accessories traits all that great jazz means custom content so when it comes to mods we're strictly you know talking about adding features in case you don't know how to actually enable mods and actually install mods in the game because there's a particular folder where you should put all of your mods right i have a lot and lots of videos i'm gonna link them right over here for you so we want to have our game completely closed whenever we decide to install a custom content or a mod file right and i very much enjoy the fact that you can filter by categories i just took a look at all these mods i selected a few mods that i think would be ideal for us and that we absolutely need to use in the game so the first one is this one is the dating app it requires this mod as well you can right click on this arrow and download file if you don't want to install the app if it you know just takes way too much space on your computer because i let me tell you i went through that and i know how hard it is to like look at my storage so it's not ideal i know what i'm talking about basically we gotta get this mod right we are on windows 10 which means that whenever we click on this zip file it just automatically unzips the file for us if you're on a mac the same thing applies just double click on it and it shall open the unzipped version or file of the mod which is basically what we need and i'm basically putting it into the main mods folder like i'm not creating any subfolders because some custom content and mods really need to be put into the main mods folder okay but if you're on windows 7 8 you have to install a program called winrar right just right click on it open with choose another app and then you can look for another app on this pc and just go into your program file select winrar you know this exit file you can basically unzip it by selecting this any kind of mod should end with the sr script whenever we are putting it into our mods folder okay do not place those rar or zip files without unzipping them first make sure you read the description of that mod before installing it now we have another zip file it automatically opens up with this winrar so we're gonna select everything except for the folder that is above and then we're gonna drag and drop all of these be very cautious when playing with mods in cc because most mods like this one like this dating app get broken after every single update we need to constantly delete them and then reinstall the updates as you can see right over here this one was updated in march so fingers crossed it works with this patch because our game has been updated in late april we shall see how our game reacts if we properly install them this window should pop up if any kind of rar file shows up it means that you need to unzip it if your mods are not showing up at all in your game this video is for you back to the sims 3 camera after update because that's a pain let's check out that dating app 
So basically our sim is gonna scroll on her phone. Oh, we can have like a specific date. You can select female or male blind date. We have one nightstand, hookup holes. Just gonna go with the conservative way. What is it happening on her phone? Like, seems like she's talking with someone and then we can choose whomever we want to date. I just thought that the game was going to pick someone for us, but let's just pick Don. It might not be like a great option, but we're gonna go to the bar. And then it just all goes like a regular day. We can introduce ourselves a little bit. Well, this is gonna take a while. Uh, can we use the same app well on a date? Oh, and I'm stinky and I don't have the UI cheats. I don't have the UI cheats on. How does it go for the blind date? Like, is the game gonna set up a date for us? I don't think this mod is properly working. It just feels like the interaction is not completed, which might be due to the fact that it hasn't been updated. Let me know if this mod works for you. Next one, I really want to have more activities in the game. We need to unzip it. See how these mods end with package? I always say that you should always, you know, get rid of the TS4 script mods after update, but there are some mods that end with package and those ones need to be deleted as well after update because most of them do get broken. We also want to try realistic cooking. So this is another mod that really caught my eye. Use that little arrow, download file, and always, always, always check the release date before installing it. So basically if this version right over here is the same with this one, that means it is up to date. In this case, you might ask me like, Dariel, it comes in a folder. For those mods that do come um, in folders like like this one you should just select the folder and then put it right over here social activities so we can visit family members we can visit friends or acquaintances it works like a shortcut for visiting family other activities laundromat like where is she going activities we also have like the trick or treat but do we gain like any kind of closeness there are also some fun activities such as art exhibition circus church cooking competition read and meet book group museum of technology go to a music concert or hiking trips so let's just go to church what like is our relationship improving I think it just stay the same these are the holiday activities we can also go on a mini vacation the next one is sleep all night because i know how annoying it can be their sleep might be interrupted by noises by babies we want to be able to peacefully sleep but let's just head home because we want to have that beauty sleep okay there's also this mod that we've installed to buy a better mattress in case you're curious about this bed okay this is the one in the energy level s4 which means that our sim is gonna get uncomfortable we want to buy a better mattress and it's a profitable and way of up leveling our bed like which one's the cheapest bed like this one and like the nicest bed well the nicest bed i think it gives you energy like six okay thank you for purchasing one of our comfortable mattresses Oh, so you can basically regularly replace your mattress. So let's see if our sim sleeps throughout the whole night because we have the mod uninterrupted sleep. And if she wakes up with that uncomfortable moodlet. Okay, girl, take a shower. So no uncomfortable moodlet. The thing is, we might need to like replace that mattress from time to time. So if you're okay with like spending that much money, then you can go for it. Last but not least, we're gonna try and out the unlimited jobs as much as i say that i don't play with a lot of mods well that's a lot of mods for me find a job we're gonna have multiple jobs writer barista yes so we can have multiple careers and if you want to make more money that's a great way of doing things although like what's your favorite way of making simoleons in the sub sport let me know in the comments down below we also want to try live in business i think it's 
live from live mode, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, we have a bunch of files and I know that you are organized people and you might want to create like a subfolder. I highly encourage you to just place them as they come, like no subfolders into the mods folder. Basically, a subfolder is a folder that you create yourself into the mods folder. We also have live in business, which means that we can attribute a specific lot trait and we should be able to like open up a business from home some of these do require some expansion packs okay so those mods do show up the thing is those don't show up let me know if it works for you because for me it doesn't all in all i would say that the uninterrupted sleep as well as the possibility to have like multiple jobs at a time seems so fascinating to me okay the work just ends in two hours so the barista one is not gonna take up a lot of our time or another job starts at 5 p.m so what is she going to do she's grilling something she is just spending an excessive amount of money we have three jobs though, so we might want to grill ourselves something as a reward. Okay, go to sleep, girl, because you're gonna work so much. Don't oversleep. She's working. But is she? Don't bother me, please. I don't mean to be rude, but like I'm at work, you know, I want to be the best version of myself. You know, work is gonna start in one hour and she's still working go to work girl we're gonna be late for the next job a bit thing is our performance is not gonna be that good you know if we are late definitely let me know in the comments down below what are mods you're using in your game we shall try those i will see you next time